Hey guys, Weiss and Wolf here again with Red and White Gaming and the Fighting Circus, uh, bringing you a cast by Ninjax. Today we've got a duel between Stabro and Forest Ranger, two experienced players, both with the Fighting Circus. I'm going to pass it off now to Ninjax, who's going to tell us a little bit about a little bit about these two players and what we can expect here in this duel. Hey everyone, this is Ninjax taking over. So here we have Stabro against Forest Ranger. If you've watched the previous video, you know that Forest Ranger killed me 5-0 and zero, and Stabro killed Zeo Burn 5-0. and zero. So here we have a mini tournament and whoever wins here is going to be crowned the champion for today. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright, and first of five wins. So let's get this round started. We're going to have a Horseman's Hammer against the Poleaxe. Again, a very short range weapon against a long range weapon. Stabro is going to have to try and find a way to close in, utilize the fast, quick strikes of the hammer, while Forest Ranger needs to maintain that distance so that his head of the Poleaxe can actually hit Stabro. So a quick slash there by Forest Ranger, taking the lead with a little bit of damage, two hits already, and a great block by Forest Ranger. Stabro is having a little bit of trouble, so he's going to pull the shield. That's going to help him close up the range. Let's see what he can do with that shield. Yes, he is moving in a couple of swings. Yes, doing a great job. The underswing is going to catch Force Ranger, but Force Ranger is not going to give up. Continuing to apply pressure, trying to break down that shield of Stabro. Alright, both players are backing off right now, maintaining a little bit of distance, and Stabro moving in with shield, and he's just taking hits over and over again, and now he's finally bleeding. What is he going to do to get... No, he's not going to be able to, to take away round one. Falling down, Stabro... Unfortunately, lost too many HP from Forest Ranger's attacks. Forest Ranger up 1-0, and zero, so going into round 2 right now. Let's see what Stabro can do. Stabro again, needs to close, close that distance and uh, get his hammer swinging. It's kind of interesting, Ninjax, that Stabro left that shield on, the, on his back those first few moments of the first duel, because that, that shield is an excellent defensive weapon against those longer range weapons. Absolutely. I think he just wanted to keep the weapon. Uh, he tried to parry, but then it wasn't working. So that's when he decided to pull out his shield. But either way, going back to the match, the shield is finally gone. Stabro has been getting some hits, but also Forest Ranger getting a little bit of damage. Oh, now Stabro is bleeding, but a quick counter slash. Oops! I have accidentally executed him. <laughs> you bastard. I know, right? That was my bad. I should slap my face for doing that. But either way, great uh, counter swing by Stabro. <laughs> Gonna kill. Forest Ranger. Sorry for that stupid execution. I don't know why I did it. I'm gonna wait for Forest Ranger to come back in. I thought I was on your team, You're so I tried for to revive the 5 you. man. Yeah. So one and one, finally tied up right now. It looks like a, a lot closer match than the previous rounds. Forest Ranger coming back in with the poleaxe again, and here we go, round three. No shield from Stabro. Not uh, respond quite yet. A lot of great blocks so far. The down block moving in. Stabro not close enough to get his hammers going, but there it is. An underswing for some damage. A couple of parries, and oh, that was a great swing by Forest Ranger doing a lot of damage to Stabro. And keep in mind, that poleaxe deals a lot of damage, even with heavy armor. Oh, great slash there. And Stabro is going to get taken down. I'm not going to execute you this time. I'm going to let Wise revive you. There you go. That's the thing I want to do. Stabro, and now, Stabro, Stabro taking really, the lead. So, so, sorry to talk over you there, Ninja. Stabro really demonstrating the power of the Horseman's Hammer, a very underutilized weapon in this game. Absolutely, it's a very technical weapon. Only the head deals damage, but when it connects, it deals a significant amount of damage, even though it is a sidearm. Stabro's shield finally regenerated, so pulling out his shield... Oh, I guess not. Moving in, he's going to rely on his parrying skills rather than his shield to close in. But there, Forest Ranger with a quick slash, two quick slashes, three quick slashes. Stabro finally pulling out the shield. He had enough. He's going to use the shield as a defensive, uh, defensive weapon to close in. But now he's finally bleeding, and one more hit is going to bring Stabro down. This is now 2-2, very close match. First of five wins. So, so far, this is a very, very intense match. Both players showing great skills, and uh, just a back and forth game so far. So going into round 5, oh again, Force Ranger with the quick slashes to Stabro. Stabro is not able to parry those critical attacks from Force Ranger. Let's see if Stabro is going to pull the shield again. Yes, there it is. The shield pulled out, trying to close in that distance. It's kind of it's interesting, Ninjax, the, uh, 
the tactics Stabro is using with the shield, it seems like he's almost reluctant to pull it out. He almost prefers going one-handed with the horseman's hammer. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's just trying to parry it because when you do parry, you get a free counterattack. But there he is, pulling out the dagger, switching it up, trying to do a lot of small amount of damage in a quick succession. But Forest Ranger is going to do the same thing, pulling out his dagger. So it's going to be a dagger fight, guys. Heavy armor and dagger fights. One person does have a shield, so let's see who comes out ahead in this crazy dagger fight. A lot of quick slashes, but I can see that shield is going to be very useful in defending. But unfortunately, Stabro is going to take a little bit too much damage. He is in a bleeding state, finally pulling out his horseman's hammer, trying to finish off Forest Ranger. Not going to be enough. I don't know, Ninjax. If I were in Stabro's position right there, I think I would have stayed with the horseman's hammer there. I, I I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure I agree with the decision to pull out the dagger. It seemed like he had Forest Ranger on the edge. Yeah, I agree. Well, he does have his hammer now, and this is uh, a round that can end right here because if Stabo dies one more time, the round is over, and Forest Ranger is going to be crowned champion for the day. Oh, and there is a quick, uh, quick sideway attack on Stabro, not able to block, already a lot of damage on Stabro, oh, great hit by Stabro, doing a little bit of damage back on Force Ranger, very close game right now, oh that overhead is gonna, uh, gonna miss, but Stabro holding on to his shield, pushing forward, trying to maintain that close distance, but Force Ranger is just finding ways to get past Stabro's defense. Very quick charge, maintaining a uh, really far distance right now. And the match could end at any time. The shield's finally going down. Stabro has to rely on his parrying skills to survive. And one more hit from Forest Ranger. I think Stabro is in a very low life. And there he is bleeding. What can he do to come back? Can he possibly come back from this? Great parry. Trying to counterattack, but not going to connect. Forest needs one more hit to end this round. Oh, there it is. Uh, Stabro is going to bleed out. And there it is. Forest Ranger is crowned the champion for the day. Beating me and beating Stabro. He's got great skills, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to come up with more videos to show you high-level content in War of the Roses. So subscribe, leave your comments below, and thumbs up. Alright, this is Ninjak signing out, and uh, on behalf of FC Fighting Circus, we will see you guys next time.